My dad called and said he finally made the DVDs out of those old home movies. I haven't seen them in for like 20 years. My brother and I grew up making films, mostly music videos and silly sketches. So now... That's why I love digital stories. And working at Mercy College, we're using digital stories as a teaching tool. But that means making a change in the way you teach. It can be risky. Add in a few variables, new assignment, a new course. Anyone taking on this challenge should be ready for an adventure, which really means the unknown. That reminds me of falafels. I tried to make falafel from scratch one time. I took a, a can of chickpeas and threw them in a blender. Let's just say it was an inedible disaster. I just laughed it off and uh, did some research though and discovered the secret to a great falafel. It's in the blend. Also, follow a recipe. For my fieldwork assignment, Dr. Timperman and I created our own digital story recipe and served it to her class. Basically, it had 12 groups of four or five students each creating a digital story about an exotic animal. There was also a little individual research. Let me be clear, it was not a disaster. There were two major issues. One, setting up the group so they are solid teams and self-accountable and to connecting the assignment to the core of the class. In the coming weeks, I'm looking forward to investigating improvements to this recipe. We'll add group work elements found in problem-based learning strategies. Perhaps there's a level of competition from game-based learning that could be added. Changing the assignment could be considered too. One example might be to have groups create an exotic animal anatomy website by using a wiki or an e-portfolio tool. It would allow for flexibility on what is presented. It could be a story, a brochure, or a fictitious zoo. Even though we were in some uncharted territory with an untested recipe, I think a majority of the students were like me. They would do it again. And they felt like a sense of community had been created. One thing's for sure, come the spring term, we'll be back in that kitchen with a new and improved recipe.